Japan is known for its souffle pancakes. They're not really... Uh, whoa, okay, all right, all right, uh-oh. Hmm, <laughs> oopsie doopsie. Fluffy pancakes are a huge thing in Japan. You see them in all sorts of Instagram reels because they're so aesthetic. The fluffiness comes mostly due to using more eggs than flour, as it's uh, kind of like a souffle pancake. And this place here is one of the more famous souffle pancake places. It's open like once a week, and there's a three hour line that you can't reserve in advance. And I really crave for some souffle pancakes. So instead of, you know, waiting in line, I thought, why not just make some myself? Also, this place actually isn't the souffle pancake place. This is just a random apartment building. I'm not gonna tell you where the place is. I don't want to wait four hours in line. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. So we're making two pancakes today. First up, we're gonna make it from scratch. I have eggs, I have sugar, milk, whatever. We're gonna try and attempt this. And secondly, I have I have the everything already done. So we're gonna see which one is better. Can we make crepes? We're not making crepes. The OGs know how well that went. <laughs> you bring up a very good point. My eyes, I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, so the, the door. Spins around. Flour, baking soda, sugar, butter, egg, milk, vanilla extract. These do not look correct. I'm not, I'm, I wanna make souffle pancakes, not just fluffy crepes. And I do not want a 10 page backstory. Uh, this is flour. I assume this is gonna work. It's, it has bread on it and we're kind of making bread today, so should work. Making these souffle pancakes is probably gonna cost me three times as more. Gonna take me four times as much time as uh, waiting in line plus getting the pancakes and gonna make a huge mess and potentially not even be edible at the end. We have sugar, salt and so salt. Do we have salt? Wait, nobody mentioned salt. Wait, no, yeah, we don't have salt. Uh, we're making, uh, we're not making savory food. We don't need salt. Luna, switch to guest. A. We got all the items here as well. You can see the kitchen from the top down view. Now that's nice, isn't it? So if you didn't read the notification, I have nothing. I don't have any kitchen, kitchen utensils. So I'm going to attempt to make the pancakes without actually having anything. I'm just going to use this as a bowl. I hope this works. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Yeah, well, we don't have literally any other options though. So. One cup all purpose flour sifted. Thank God we have a, don't have a sift, so I don't have to do extra work. I also don't have any measuring units, so I'm gonna literally use a cup. Yield six to seven pancakes. All right, we can have this. We can just do three pancakes. So instead of one cup, I'm gonna do half a cup. Yeah, that's half a cup. Two teaspoons baking powder. So I'm gonna do one teaspoon. I paused Bridgerton for your stream. I hope you realize how big that is. Is that the TV show where they play bridge? Should I put a heapful? Is this okay? Two tablespoons white sugar. Now I have the good stuff. The organic sugar. Wait, is it this way? Yeah, the organic sugar. There also wasn't any non-organic sugar. For some reason, there's like, convenies are everywhere, but just normal grocery stores are like very rare. In a separate bowl, mix egg, milk, vanilla, and melted butter. What do you mean butter? Okay, I, I might have not looked up the correct recipe when I went to get uh, all the ingredients, because the ingredients, uh, the recipe that I looked at originally did not have any butter in it. Mix the egg. Just one egg? Unbeaten? We're not even gonna separate the whites from the yellows? Fluffy pancakes means souffle pancakes, which means egg whites. You make the souffle with the egg whites. Why am I adding just a straight up one egg into it? I need to add the vanilla. I do also don't have vanilla. I have cinnamon sugar. Yeah, now we're gonna skip that step as well. And melted butter. Okay, I wonder if this... Just one of this is fine. I'm just hand melting it right now. Yeah. Mix the egg, milk, vanilla, and melted butter together. Be careful not to use hot melted butter. That may end up cooking your eggs. Okay, so we do need to mix this. God, God damn it. I put it into cold milk and it instantly hardened. Ay, 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 ay. How badly do I need to beat this? Do I actually have to beat this? Does I literally... No, I've asked for this. Um, it's a future issue. I'm just gonna pull and mix this here. The batter should be thick and a little lumpy. You heard it here, Chad. The batter can be lumpy. If you're gonna beat it, put your hood up so you look like criminals. We gotta cook, Mr. White. Technically, according to the recipe, we are ready. And it is lumpy, but lumpy is fine. Beat it as if it was an egg. What do you mean by that? What? 
Are we talking about actual violence or what? This is it? Wait, this is it? No. What have I done? I should have looked at the backstory. The pancakes that they have in the pictures are horrible. Jesus Christ, I'm following an insane person's cooking recipe. Bro, look at this. This shit is nasty. You're not even making pancakes here. I guess this is like kind of what I wanted to go for. But this is not gonna end up like this. Just follow a TikTok recipe. No. I don't have TikTok. To be honest, I do like this more because I don't have to actually whip egg whites with my forks. So I'm, I'm happy. I was afraid for a bit now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It is literally what the recipe called for. It said it can be, a, uh, it has to be a little lumpy. No, it didn't say it could be. It said it is going to be. So this is perfect. Coated with oil. Shit, why did I add butter? You can feel the heat as close as you can get without hurting yourself. Uh, yeah, I can feel the heat pretty well. Well, this looks absolutely incorrect. We're making crepes, chat. We're making crepes today. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, my son. Sorry, my son. Okay. Whoa! We, we made a fluffy crepe. Is there a way to not make it so weird? Like so. Yeah, this is worse than before. This is so much worse. Grease the pan. It had enough grease. It's fine. All right, we're, we're calling this a day. The dog food looked more appetizing. Wait, what dog food? <laughs> what do you mean? Look at this. Look how nice the... Yeah, yeah no, it, nah. One of the things with Japanese kitchens is how small the kitchen space is. Like, look at this. This is literally all I have. This little space here to do everything. And I am in one of the bigger type of apartments. I don't understand how people are supposed to cook in the kitchens. I have less room in my Estonian apartment, but the kitchen is so much bigger. It's like four times more space. You have to utilize the sink. You know, I have, a, I have a fun little idea. Instead of making the sink half of the kitchen, how about just making the sink a quarter of the kitchen and having more space here? Like, I don't need to physically fit in the sink and take baths in it. You can make the sink much smaller. In Estonia, this would be like an um, industrial kitchen sink for restaurants. Some restaurants don't even have, have kitchen sinks this big. Whipped cream by Mickey Mouse. I don't know how to decorate cakes. Okay, that was done not half bad. What else we put on? It's not even that expensive. Like the bananas were 199 yen, which is 1.5, dollars A bit less for four bananas. That's quite decent. And like these muskets was, I want to say 299 yen. That's like $2, two and a half. That's cheaper than in Australia. I guess it depends where you buy. Like just don't buy the fancy ones that are wrapped in like cotton or something. I got to work on my plating skills. Final result. This is my souffle pancake. Let's see the taste test. Wow, top down view. It looks decent for pancakes, but I know how we cooked it. And I feel like this is not going to be decent. Oh, that's not bad. Why well, did it not end up fluffy? Apparently the recipe was just for lumpy pancakes. Not even fluffy ones. They just had the wrong recipe. Because some people are like, oh, we're making fluffy pancakes, but it's actually like just one centi- no, half a centimeter thicker than normal pancakes. Out of 10, how, how many? How many points? I would say these are like 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10 pancakes. Mujam said these are 13 out of 10. Best pancake, homemade pancakes she've had in Japan. I would say this is successful. No, it's it's not though. I wanted to make souffle pancakes, not normal pancakes. Why am I coping? This is shit. I'm gonna throw you away after I finish you. Next up, we're making actual fluffy pancakes. We cannot fuck this up, chat. Literally cannot, because I have a mix. Put eggs and milk in a bowl, then add this product and mix. Heat a frying pan over high heat, let it cool slightly on a damn cloth. What? Two. 200 grams book, egg one piece, milk, soy, 260 milliliters. If you don't have butter, a bit of canola oil will work. <laughs> what did we say about not having kitchen equipment? What is, what do you, I do, I have nothing. What is, tal I don't even know what canola oil is. I have this. I don't know. I, this is oil. I am at least 50% sure this is oil. That is not oil. That is mirin. It's sweet and sake. What do you mean it's sweet and sake? Wait, what? It was on the oil aisle. Maybe, I don't... Is it bad if I want to drink this? Because this is sugary sake. This is really good. I kind of want to, like, drink more of this. If I can't drink the mirin, I'm at least going to drink the one cup sake. If you convert 260 milliliters, how much do I have to fill this cup? Just say stop, chat. Just, just tell me when. 
Tell me when. All right, stop. No eggs. There's an egg. There's, there's already an egg in here. Look. Boop, boop, eggy. Booby, booby, boop. Look. Oh, that's a lot. This is getting really thick. Maybe this is the actual correct souffle pancake now. It is like slightly liquid. It is like uh, like one of those puddings. I mean, there's nuts in your mouth, chat. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like, um, I don't know how to call them. There's some a specific sort of pudding or uh, like yogurty thing where it's like kind of kind of solid, kind of not. We have four butters left, chat. We cannot use these too much. Butter looks like chocolate. If this was chocolate, could I do this? Checkmate. Add one of you here. And I can add another one on the other side. Butter. Can you tap the pan a bit and flatten your cakes? Like that. I'm gonna flip this because I can. Yo, it's ready. Oh! You know the, the Amazon stores that had like self-checkout or like you could go into the Amazon store and it had AI judging you, like looking around what you bought and you could just walk out and it would charge your credit card automatically without any cashiers. And now it turned out to be like 3000 Indian men just actually looking through cameras to see if that's what you bought. That's crazy. That's so weird. Imagine if that's just AI right now. Like every AI is just 2000 Indian men. These are definitely thick pancakes, but these are not souffle pancakes. Let's do one with slight whipped cream and another one with more whipped cream. This is gonna be dripped out. Japan whipped cream is another level. Okay, that's what I have to give it to Japan. Their whipped cream is on, a, on another level. I don't understand how. Because usually, if you get whipped cream sandwiches or like just whipped cream in supermarkets, like pre-made shelf stable whipped cream, it tastes like ass. It is so artificial. And somehow, in Japan, if you have anything whipped cream on like shelves, even if it's room temperature, the whipped cream is the same as the whipped cream you'd make at home with like whipping the cream, which is mind blowing. I mean, they're thick pancakes, but they're not um, necessarily a good thick, I guess. No, what the fuck? Literally, why wait three hours in line if you can make this at home for four times the price and also uh, not tasting the same? It's... Hmm. I kind of like the previous ones better. I feel like there's um, more salt in these ones. Okay, there's definitely more salt because I didn't put any salt in the previous ones. This has the consistency of normal pancakes, but it's just double the thickness. So I feel like I'm eating a cake. So I feel like if the previous one was 7 out of 10, this is like 5 out of 10 for me. The previous one I actually liked. This one is like, if I had better food, I would pass on this. We also, keep in mind, here. this is also gluten-free. So that could be a huge thing. Because with gluten, gluten is the thing that uh, gives um, fluffiness to pastries. So considering that these are actually decently fluffy, I would say, oh shit, okay, yeah, I forgot about that. These turned out pretty well then. No, wait, if you make fluffy pancakes, that's egg whites, which, okay, no, 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 I'm still coping. Yeah, no, these are bad. What the fuck? Mujam said, 0 0.5 out of 10. They were gross, like had salt bits, half done, and absolute shit. It's like one of those things, you go to a gluten-free restaurant and it tastes garbage. I wouldn't even have gone that uh, don't have deep into it. Damn, that's, that's harsh. In your it's crazy how you can make so much better things if you do it from scratch, you know that? Who could have guessed? But at least we tried, chat. Yes, there's no other answer than to actually go to a souffle pancake place myself. Wait three hours in line? to do taste test the real things might be in a future vlog might not be i don't know but either way thank you for sticking around for today hope you enjoyed me uh, messing around with food and see you tomorrow